Good evening, Jules fans. Welcome back to the latest episode of Jules and the Blood TV. It's Match Day Live, and it is EFL Papa John's Trophy night. We are at a very sparsely populated <laughs> Gillingham football ground. Um, Boz, team news. Stronger than we thought. A lot stronger than we thought. Um, Jake Turner obviously comes in goal. Uh, back four is Alexander at right back stays in. Will Wright stays in. Elkan Baggett replaces Max Amar. Ryan Law stays in. Middle four, Akiba Dela Coombe stays in, Robbie McKenzie stays in, Sean Williams stays in, Alex McDonald replaces Jordan Green, Mika Mandron stays in, and uh, Lewis Walker replaces Joe Gabodi, who is on the bench along with a couple of other youngsters, Bailey Akehurst, um, Josh Chambers, uh, and then we also have Max Emar and um, Glenn Morris uh, to make up the substitutes bench tonight. Um, Oh, and Scott Cash get here, you're correct. A couple of fans behind. Um, Brighton have gone very young. They have literally yeah, gone with their under-23s, aside from maybe one, yeah. The lowest squad number is a striker, Ferguson. I feel like he might have played for the Irish under-21s, obviously. Pretty sure they sold Cucurella as well, but they have someone who looks very much <laughs> like a baby version of Cucurella. Um, these score numbers are very high, aren't they? 61, 50, 0. You're going to love this, aren't you? You have an aversion to this thing. Um, um, I will say, it's in one team. I'll say 2-0 tonight, another clean sheet as well, very, very positive. Uh, we'll try and bring some footage as and when the game gets started. <laughs> Or they had one as well. No, it's good from Bellicum, uh, from McDonald, sorry. It's a good punch from the keeper actually. We just said Adam started great, didn't look like he wanted to play. They're trying to break here, so Alex going to have to get round. It is two against one. It's a box touch, let him down. Just about the same, it's 15 minutes gone, there's been no goal manufacturing, there should have been, um, but for the poor touch from the unbrighton forward. But it's, uh, it's been a mid battle of the midfield thirds at the moment, isn't it? It's, um, it's, it's two teams eyeing each other up at the moment and sizing each other up. Andron's just wanted to into the middle of the park for Robbie McKenzie. We'll see if we can use this chance for Macca. But yeah, um, not a lot to talk about. Best chance of the game, but it's just falling apart. I mean, it's because we're loose defensively again, aren't we? Ryan Law, and then I think Robbie McKenzie dangle foot, let the fella drive into the box, I say fella lad. And then the ball sort of breaks like it did for McDonald the other day, but luckily the header was straight at um, Jake Turner. But we're in here at the other end. Oh, Lewis Walker! Both players, the world are good. Yeah, it's one all, boss. Um, slightly out of the blue. Yeah. I mean, Brighton have had plenty of the ball, but I haven't really caused us a problem. But that's a phenomenal header, to be fair. The ball in from the rock, it gets up really, really hard. And there's a header over the top of Turner and into the top corner, and he had absolutely no chance. Yeah, Think so, what's that, wasn't it, for a trophy game? You just said how, uh, how quick the first half hour's gone. Just need to make sure that we stay switched on in here. Oh, 
half time here at the Priestfield Stadium and it's currently uh, one all between Jules and Brighton under 21s. I'm joined by special guest Sook who is going to give us his thoughts on the first period. I thought it was a fairly entertaining half to be honest. Fight back and forth. I mean, a different Gillingham side as well. They're playing with a bit more confidence as well. The goal they, they scored, one touch football almost. And yeah, Brighton's equaliser, not bad as well. It's ahead of the top corner. Yeah, it's not a lot you can yeah, do about that. Yeah, do much. So, yeah, fair play to both teams. And, yeah, it's a game of two halves. So let's see what happens in the seconds. Yeah, definitely. What did you make of Brighton overall? Because obviously, I've just tweeted, it's quite clear that obviously they come from a Premier League education. They've got it down and they've had most of the ball. They play it on the deck quite a lot whereas we tend to get a bit more direct but like you said the goal's, the goal's very good from our point of view as well but uh, what did you make of Brighton's performance? Yeah they're pretty quick on the ball um, I've seen a couple of their players especially yeah, attacking um, they're pretty quick pace on the ball so yeah not bad but I think yeah they, they play good football on the floor as well yeah. like to be their possession but there have been some the odd cut pass that's kind of gone off the pitch so there are times for them to improve but yeah they didn't look quite promising at all what do you think in terms of uh, how the second half go? Do you think Jules can go on and win the game? I think so. Yeah, they're playing with much more confidence and more patience as well. well. Let's see what happens with Williams as well, because they've kind of picked up something, picked up an off. But yeah, I think they can. I mean, I think, I think Jeffries might come on, to be honest. I think he's stripped ready for action. But yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it's evenly poised, and it's certainly a game Jules can go on and win if they can uh, grab it by the scruff of the neck. Second half, really. That's good delivery. Oh, that's good defending. Oh, that cave makes something happen. Oh, that's not even a pass for the touch. Put it back. Come on, use it properly. That's a great duck from Macca. Now get in the box. Oh, that's good defending. Got it clear. So Alexander can recycle this. We'll just stay with this a sec. He's got two targets. It's gone to Macca. Wider. It's good football. Good turn. Delacour, that's really good. That's brilliant. It's done really well. That is awesome. Good save. Oh, no. Oh, blocked. Where's that going? Oh. Best we've seen of Hakeem with Delacroon this evening. Jill's on the front foot at the start of this second. Two one of the away side, wasn't it? It has, yeah, unfortunately. They've had plenty of the ball this half and we've um, struggled to get out. It's, um, it's very simple from their point of view. Yeah, Law tries to win the other and doesn't get there and it allows a poke in behind. Then had an overload, didn't they? One into the middle of the box, one more out to the lad. It looks like Cooper Ryan, but his name's Todd Miller. Um, he had a simple task of tapping it in for about eight yards. And, uh, suddenly we've got work to do. Worked it well down our right hand side. I think it was, uh, yeah, he done really well initially. Yeah, fair play there. Good point. And then it eventually worked its way out to the right, and it was. Um, <coughs> I think it was Cash getting laid it back to Alexander and uh, Lewis Walker at the double scoops at the far post. It goes in off a deflection. It's definitely his goal, and uh, your three all might come true. Adjust your TV sets, Boz. We have scored three in a single game. They've all been allowed. And it's a really good free kick from your right, to be fair. And it's gone near post, but dips on the keep and goes in the bottom corner. Final change of the night is imminent. Corner for Jules. Will Wright, good delivery. He's got him. Absolutely nuts at the ref. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think what happened was 
We thought he had gone in. The keeper thinks he's been fouled. We then belt it in the net, so it's a really good job. Liverish fans, we are. Fair play, don't let lose me. Let's try again, boss. Another corner. The last one wasn't given eventually. Here it comes. It's going to break to the. Oh, I thought that was going to break for Chambers. We need to get back in here. Right, I'm trying to break. Managed to get back in. 